Heathrow's Terminal 5 have endured a second day of serious disruption and face further chaos this weekend. More than 70 flights were cancelled today. Another 50 planes won't fly tomorrow. British Airways Chief Executive Willie Walsh has said it was not the airline's finest hour and he admitted that the reputations of both BA and Britain had been damaged. It definitely was not our finest hour. You know, we disappointed a lot of people. We've clearly learned some lessons from uh, some of the issues that went wrong early on yesterday morning. Uh, we did get off to a better start today, and we've just got to keep focused on this. Why has your operation gone down? After slamming doors in reporters' faces, BA is now fighting to improve its reputation. And we discovered tonight to clear this backlog of 5,000 bags belonging to transit passengers. <laughs> Under dank and wet skies, they marched. Cabin crew staff, used to serving food and drinks, were serving up a major headache to their employer. And across the car park, the fruit of their lack of labour, dozens of grounded BA planes resting on the tarmac. Could, could we not ju just ask one or two passengers? Because everything seems to be going quite smoothly. Been absolutely delighted uh, with the turnout today, and it's a demonstration of the. Uh, the commitment and determination uh, of our members to demonstrate to uh, Wally Walsh that uh, he really has to negotiate 
a settlement to this rather than continue to attempt to impose uh, changes within British Airways. The two men emerged defeated, furious and determined to get their version of events across, but they had one emotion in common, sheer frustration. It is with great disappointment that I have to tell you all that negotiations have, uh, have broken down. Disappointed that the union has not been able to see the sense of the proposal that we tabled today. I spent three days here at the headquarters of the trade union movement uh, trying to reach agreement. Uh, I don't think that's the action of somebody who is trying to undermine trade unionism or break this trade union. Willie Walsh will punish striking crew by removing valuable perks like free flights, but some staff claim the strong arm tactics have gone much further. We are all intimidated. We have all been threatened. There is a corporate policy to try and undermine the strength of feeling amongst the crew because Willie Walsh's whole plan is banked on the fact that we won't be strong. A friend of mine had an 84-year-old mother contacted at 10 o'clock last night and they were told that if their daughter didn't turn up for work tomorrow, she would be suspended and possibly lose her job.